title of your notes or whatever you're taking on this. Uh, you can title it the Introduction to Geometry. We're going to talk about uh, uh, what geometry is, where it came from, people involved in it, different types of geometry. Some of this you're going to see on test. I'll try to mention those things. You're going to see some vocabulary here um, that you can fill out and, and use on your uh, vocabulary list that you make. Um, there'll be several things. Basically, by the time you get through this, you'll know the very basics of geometry, the terms that we're going to use, how we build geometric proofs, and some of the things that we're going to be doing all year long. Um, basically, there's one man who's really uh, involved in geometry all the way along. His name is Euclid. Let's get that written down. E-U-C-L-I-D. Euclid. He was a Greek. And he lived in the 300 BC area. So you're talking about 2,300 years ago. Uh, around 300 BC, he wrote a book. It's called Euclid's Elements. It is basically a mathematics book, and it also describes the geometry that we use in it. He named five postulates or assumptions on which we base. He bases his geometry, which we call Euclidean geometry. And Euclidean geometry is based on five postulates. Now, a postulate is an assumption. It is a statement or an assumption based on observations that is assumed to be true, accepted as true, and does not need to be proven. Okay? Let me say that one more time. A postulate is a statement or an assumption that is accepted as true that does not need, does not need to be proven. Okay? Sometimes also we use the term axiom. Very similar. You can use those all three together. Postulate, assumption, and axiom basically for what we're going to talk about all mean the same thing. Now, the first postulate that uh, Euclid came up with was, or he stated, was that, oh, we can draw a straight line between two points. Or two points define a line. Okay? The second postulate that he stated was, oh, once we have a line, we can extend that line by simply continuing to draw a straight line. We can extend a straight line by continuing with a straight line. Pretty simple stuff. The third one was, we can define a circle by describing a center and a distance or a radius. Circle defined by a center and a radius. Okay. The fourth one, it's pretty simple. All right angles are equal to each other. Okay? So these are the first four of his postulates or assumptions. Two points to find a line. Simply that. We can draw a line from one point to any other point, or from any point to any other point. Number two, we can extend that straight line by continuing with a straight line. In other words, just simply continuing that line with a straight line, and it can go on forever in both directions. Number three, we can define a circle by describing a center and a radius. And that's what defines a circle. Number four, 
all right angles are equal to each other. Those are the first four of his postulates. 